What's up YouTube? What up friends and fam? It's your boy Kenny Lucas back at it with another YouTube video. Let's go! This time coming from a customer's house. Um, I'm doing a lot of work here and this has been like my number one customer all time and I literally brought my weight set today. You know what I'm saying? Just like just brought my weight set, asked them if I can do it so I can get a pump in and record YouTube videos with my shirt off when it's <laughs> when it's beautiful weather in this time of year, you know? It's Massachusetts and it's like 50, 60 degrees right now and I don't even have a shirt on, it feels good. Uh, but anyway, so the subject of the video, I apologize about those dogs barking, that's mad annoying. But uh, it is what it is, guys, appreciate you sticking in. But so the subject of the video, we've been lied to, right? So last night I was watching the Joe Rogan show and he had this black dude on there who was talking about how the slaves that got to America were actually pretty much all here already when we've been taught that white dudes or Spanish people brought them all over from Africa brought them all over from Africa and he got me thinking man I'm like you know he's probably right like it would take back back then they said they brought like 12 million slaves from Africa over to America or Mexico or South America right but back then that would have taken i would i feel like bringing millions of slaves that actually live and make the trip over to america i would think that would take hundreds of years not not like a couple years you know what i'm saying because the ships and the technology back then was so it was so bad compared to now it's like they, they weren't bringing them over on a cruise ship they're probably bringing them like a hundred at a time it, if something like that and maybe like half of them were surviving the trip from africa and that blew my mind because I'm like, you know, so I think the reason why historians have taught it that way is to make the white man seem way more powerful than the black man. You know what I'm saying? And it worked, man. That, that's just like the power of perception, right? The power of perception to make that somebody view you a certain way. It's like somebody saw that, you know what I'm saying? Somebody throughout history, I don't know who came up with the idea. They probably all did like hey, let's just, like, perceive it as is. Like, we brought over 12 million white, I mean, uh, 12 million slaves to America in a short period of time. And it's just, like, it's not even possible that they could do that. And um, so pretty much the guy was explaining that Egyptians have been to America, present-day America, you know what I mean, back in the day. Like, they, they would take trips over here and stuff like that. I'm like, that blew my mind, man, because, like, We've been taught that black people never came here. You know what I'm saying? Like, they weren't here, like, before we came. And, uh, yeah, they've been here. You know what I'm saying? So that makes a lot of sense to me now about the power of perception. The power of perception is that that the white men or the Spanish people or the English people that came over here, they're like, yeah, we're going to take all the credit for bringing these black people over here, and we're going to perceive black people to be the enemy. And... Um, you know, there's no telling why they did really did that. Obviously, they wanted slaves and all that, but like, it just really made me think. Like, how are you perceiving something to be when really it's not all all reality? You know what I'm saying? So we can apply that to our own life too. Like, our perception of things is it really true, or are we just making that up? Are we just making it up? Like, we can perceive things to be working our advantage, or perceive things to work in our disadvantage, and whatever perception we decide to focus on is the perception the reality becomes right and you really can you know think about that on all aspects of life like right now i'm going on through this diet this cutting diet and it's actually going really well and i could perceive it like oh man i'm not getting enough carbs or oh man i'm not getting enough sugar i'm not eating peanut butter whatever um, or I could perceive it like this is what fat loss feels like. This is what having low blood pressure feels like. This is what, you know, adjusting my cholesterol levels feels like. This is just what it feels like. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just what it feels like. It's the beginning stages of it for so long, for the last year or two. Uh, you know, for the most part, I track my calories a couple, a couple times. You know what I'm saying? I went through like a cut where like four months where I was tracking it pretty faithfully, um, but for the rest of the remainder of the two years, so like two years minus four months, like I was just fucking fucking around. You know what I'm saying? I was just like keeping myself looking good and not really 
being good inside. You know what I mean? It was just the perception I was taking with me and be like, this is what, like, I'm a healthy person, person, right? Like, anybody looking at me and seeing my six-pack or seeing my confidence would have been like, oh, yeah, he's a healthy person. But in reality, the blood work is the reality. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, just a perception that we're believing. And now my perception is, like, unless my blood work is healthy, then I'm not healthy, which, to me, that's reality. You know what I'm saying? I can keep a six-pack, no problem, and eat, you know, the same way I was eating. And it was just like eventually just took its toll on me my mental health my physical health my energy my mood you know what i'm saying it's just like enough became enough guys so i don't know really know where i'm going with this but it's just like the matter of fact is i also thinking about this like i really didn't like I, yeah i want to record youtube videos but not every day you're going to want to record a youtube video or not every week even you're going to want to record a youtube video but I know the fan base, the following you guys that I have came off me making videos when I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? And even though like most times like when I do want to make a video, those are one, ones that maybe I do get a better message across or I do get more views, whatever the case may be, but maybe not though too, you know what I'm saying? I think like videos like this where I'm not super energetic to make a video. It's like, these are the important ones, especially, you know, just for me, man, just the grind mode. It's just like, okay, I did do X amount of videos in that time period, that season of life where I was cutting, where my energy levels weren't as pronounced as I think they could be. And it's like that, the, these videos probably mean the most to me, honestly, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, just that consistent nonstop, you know, keep going at it, keep going at it, keep going at it. So yeah, with that, you know, that's the video for today. I really don't got anything left for y'all, but um, yeah, man, keep your head up, count them calories, reach out to me if you need help, whatever, for a different perspective, you know, reach, and uh, yeah, the internet is the greatest law of attraction, guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can attract your future wife, your future best friend, your future whatever, whatever the case may be. If, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like we do have to put that content out there and people got to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can comment on videos all day, but go ahead and make some content yourself. So I love you guys. Peace.